I'm about to show you a first look at the brand new stuff that's coming through for Power Virtual Agents that was announced at Build. This is awesome. If you're a low code person, there is so much more that you're going to be able to do. We can create fancy looking messages without needing adaptive cards, stuff with variables. You can bring audio into it and so on. So this is my first go at showing you what's here. First up here, we have a brand new experience when we come in here. So we've got a create a bot, very clear links through to all of the helpful things. This is pretty much the same as what we've done before. So we'll grab something in here and I'm just going to sort of muck around with a, a weather helper bot of some kind. Click create to get it going. And then with the magic of video editing, we'll give that a minute and be right back. All right, here we are. That was about 30 seconds in real time. So we've got our bot here. I'm going to navigate over into the topics and just to keep it easy to show you the new features without designing a whole bot here. I'm going to go into the greeting topic and we will edit that. So we've got our trigger phrases to start the bot's chat. We've got our standard, you know, hi, I'm a virtual agent. Let's get rid of that and add our own message in here to personalize it. So you'll see a couple of things in here that are brand new. We've certainly got the ability to set a variable value, which I will come back to. I want to show you this messaging options first. So I can come in here and I can add to my message all of these awesome things. Let me take you through them. First thing is a message variation. So this will allow you to create a random set of things that the bot can say. So for a greeting, we could say, hi, let's add another message variation. Just because I'm in Australia and it's a lovely stereotype, we'll uh, say good day. <laughs> and we can say, hey there. So what will happen then is the first message back will be a random selection of one of those message variations. Let's add another message and pick something else that we can do here. So image and video, really easy now to just grab a URL from an image or a video and put it in there. So let's put something in here so we can put in a title. So I'm going to call this one weather. Jump over here to this lovely site that gives us some royalty free images. Copy the image link. So you're using this in your own scenario. You'd be grabbing something from your own website, obviously. We will pop the image URL in there. And bingo, I've got a beautiful card. <laughs> Same concept with a video. So I'm going to go a step further here. Let's delete that one and replace it with something else. I'm going to put in send a message. And this time I'm going to use this thing called a basic card. This is my favorite of these options. So we can do the same concept here of here's the weather and here's the image URL. But we've also got a subtitle and text in here. So the subtitle is and then let's pop some text in here. And then straight away, we've got all of that in there. Now, the other thing we can do here is to add a button. This allows you to put a title in for the button and it can do all of these kinds of things. So we can send a message, play a video, download a file and so on. I've got more to explore here. So I'm just going to highlight that that's an option that we can do. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing more of this preview as I get a chance to work through it in more detail. For now, I'm just tempting you with that and we're going to remove it. Now, the other thing you can do in here with adaptive cards, we've had the ability to add adaptive cards before, but to do that, you had to kind of use the bot framework composer piece and sort of go away and do that and bring it back in. So really what's happening here is this, rather than an integration of, you know, here's our low code experience and here's the bot framework experience and they're sort of separate but connected, this is now just like blending them all together in the one user interface. So if I go into say adaptive card, then I've got the edit of the JSON right there. If you're a low code person and you don't do JSON, don't worry if you know what this is, it's right here. You don't have to kind of go away and have that whole separate experience. And there's my dog having an opinion about adaptive cards in the background. Uh, let's get rid of that. Now, the other thing that we can add in here is to add a quick reply. So this option for the bot to come up with some things along the bottom here to tell us what's going on. So we can have quick replies here. We can go sure or no thanks. And that's what will come up in the chat. Let's save that. So come over here into our test pane. We're going to say hello to start the conversation. And I should get one of those three random messages. There we go. We've got g'day. And there's my beautiful card. And I can click sure or no thanks. Conversation hasn't been built out any further, but you can see what we've been able to build there in a matter of like, what, a minute. Amazing. A couple of other things I want to highlight for you as part of what's in this preview. We've got this option for text or speech mode. So if you want to have telephony with your bot, you can go in here and change this to speech. So you don't have to build like a whole other experience of speech. 
So we can tailor the response by going in here and choosing this message variation. And this uses something called SSML tags, which is a speech markup language. So we can do things in here that allow you to put in things like emphasis or breaks so that when the bot is reading this out on the voice channel, it knows where to emphasize. And there are also things in here, they get called voice fonts, which allows you to choose what kind of voice you're using. Again, I need to connect that up and have a proper play, so stay tuned. And I'm gonna come back to that one another time. Other cool things, variables. So there's a whole lot going on here with variables. We can actually set a variable inside the chatbot just as a standalone thing. So it doesn't have to be in the past, it's been a response to a question, but I could come in here and create a new variable. So the idea for something like this is to say, let's say you wanted to calculate something. Maybe I've got this weather forecast coming in, it's gonna give me the number, and we can say, is that higher or lower than the average number? Or something like that. So you can do those calculations. And the reason you can do a calculation here is because when we enter the value of it, we can choose to use a formula. And this is PowerFX. <laughs> so if you've built Canvas apps, working with Canvas apps, that PowerFX expression language, it is here in the platform now. If you haven't and you're across all sorts of Power Platform things, PowerFX is something really worth investing your time in because we've got it in Canvas apps. We're starting to see it come into model-driven apps to create calculated uh, columns, and it's here as well. And certainly there's a direction of that popping up everywhere. So PowerFX coming in here as well. And the other thing you can use here is a condition. So we've always had conditions before, but look at this. Now we can go in and change it to a formula, which uses, you with me? <laughs> PowerFX again. So branch based on a rule and a PowerFX formula. If it's over a certain temperature, the bot can say, oh, it's really hot. And you can use that as a formula to go through there. So again, lots more content to come here. But as a first run preview, these message cards and the quick responses are absolutely amazing and super quick to create. Seeing all of these tool sets come together is gonna to give us a heap more option and especially PowerFX just embedded right in there, plus more on variable management. So stay tuned, watch this playlist, there's more to come. Don't forget to hit like on this if you found value. Let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments and I will be back with more. Thanks for watching.